All right, today let's talk a little bit about Fannie Mae and automated valuation models. Now, Fannie Mae is using these AVMs to actually file complaints against appraisers with their state appraisal boards. Now, if you know anything about the history of automated valuations models, it comes down to it. I don't care how fancy the logarithm, how many formulas you have, it always comes down to a price per square foot formula using a square footage total that is wrong the majority of the time. I mean, these mistakes can be, you know, 10,000, 30,000, 100,000. I mean, these are real things, and this is not my opinion. This is a fact from studying this, you know, especially from 2008 on, and the fact is that AVMs are not accurate. Maybe in your case, you know, if you have a simple house, maybe it's only off six or $8,000. Get out your checkbook and see, does that amount of money matters? Guys, this is real money to real people. This is building wealth for, you know, in America, this is the best way to build wealth all across the country, and AVMs help to take that wealth away. Now, Fannie Mae is taking their AVM, if you will, and of course, they have gathered information from appraisers for years and years, all without asking the appraisers if they could take the data. Now, appraiser signs a report, sends in a, you know, a signed copy just meant for their lender, their client, and they sell it to Fannie Mae. Fannie Mae takes the appraiser's data without permission, and then they share it with lenders and with other companies, everybody except the people that give them the information. Now, to me, if you're going to share this information, you should at least share it with the appraisers that are giving you the information in which you give nothing in return. And, you know, that data, would that help to make appraisers more accurate? Sure it would. But they choose not to sell that data. But if you notice in the last several years, every time we have a problem in the real estate industry, it's the appraiser's fault. Why is that? Because the appraisers, you know, we have this giant target on us because we're the easiest ones to attack. We don't have any giant organization, you know, not like NAR with over a million members or whatever. Appraisers are lone wolf uh, businesses, if you will, you know, and a lot of the shops are its mom and pop shops all across the country. So people know that appraisers really are not good at fighting back. We don't have a central voice to fight back. So anybody that has, an a, prob has a problem, and of course the latest problem is bias. Well, remember that when appraisers are doing these values, that value has already been, you know, a listing agent, a buyer's agent, you know, that value has gone through buyers, sellers, and agents, and everyone has agreed it's fair, and then an appraiser gets it and comes up with a value, and now I'm hearing that appraisers are biased. Well, you know, that value went a long way, and remember, what do appraisers do? Appraisers, we really have two jobs. We observe and report. You know, we really take the information available to us and we report it in a logical, fair, and unbiased manner. Now, you know, is there bias in the industry? There's bias in the appraisal industry. I'm sure there's a small amount of it. It's also in the real estate industry. It's also in the lending industry. If you look at complaints that have been filed, most of that is in the lending industry. It's not in the appraisal industry. And now it's like we're trying to move appraisers out of the valuation industry. And we're the only ones who don't have, if you'll excuse the Southern expression, we don't have a dog in the fight. You know, when it comes to coming up with a fair value, the appraiser is basing that on the best information available. They're not trying to meet a sales price. You know, their job is to be fair. 
the agents involved, well, they want to make sure they get paid their commission. So the sale needs to close. Close. The buyers want to buy the house and move. You know, they've already got utilities scheduled. They've got a, a truck ready to move them into this house. The only people without a financial interest in the outcome is the appraiser. But yet we're having Fannie Mae report us, you know, for using bad comps based on data that they take from appraisers, but don't let us use. It's like this whole big circle is going around. And what's the final goal of this? It's not just Fannie Mae. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not picking on them. But it's like the entire banking and government industry ever since appraisal management companies came along, appraisers have been getting pushed out of the business. We're trying to make this, and I say we're trying to make this, it's like the government and the banking industry is trying to turn all valuations into an automated valuation system and for consumers and also all these you know, retirement accounts for the mortgage lending industry for people that invest in mortgages in these securities, those people are at great risk. You know, if consumers want to remain protected and mortgage investors want to remain protected, we have to keep living, breathing appraisers in this process and automated valuation models is not the answer, guys. Look at what happened with Zillow recently. You know, they based all their offers to buy property on their Zestimates. Or, you know, and there's a million different things that are just like a Zestimate. That's their brand name. But, you know, these valuations don't work. It's a faulty formula based on price per square foot. It doesn't work. There is a way to get through this, but taking appraisers out of the process is not the answer to any valuation problem.